All right, next video. How to ruin your life in college. I went to college for like a semester and then I dropped out because YouTube blew up. So I got to experience college for like a, uh, like a few months. Drinking and driving, getting your RA pregnant, watching hentai with the door unlocked. There are plenty of ways to ruin your life in Okay, man, I had a good college experience. I didn't do none of that. College. So here's a story about the biggest screw up I've ever met named Jimmy. Jimmy was basically Steve-O without all the fame and money. He was the ultimate attention seeking who would do anything in front of a crowd. He climbed fire escapes, punched himself in the balls, got suplexed on beer pong tables, anything to get a reaction out of the people. And right before a stunt, he would always yell to the moon. Not sure why, but with Jimmy, I learned not to ask questions and just accept the craziness. Anyway, one day I'm hanging out with Jimmy and a few peeps and I start rolling some weed. I made a little line with a credit card and I'm about to put in the blunt when Jimmy Jimmy says, how much would you pay me if I snorted that? And my eyes lit up. I'm like, uh, for the whole line? I'll buy you a bottle of Jack Daniels. The problem was I was too excited. And Jimmy started to have second thoughts. But I knew Jimmy didn't care about the bottle. He just wanted the attention. So I start chanting, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. And now we're all chanting, Jimmy, Ah, uh, after that is over. I see Jimmy crack a little bit of a smile and he says, to the moon. Then he puts one hand on the side of his nose, bends over and takes a huge rip. <laughs> Immediately, Jimmy was f***ed up. He's just... Yo. Oh. There's always that one white guy that will sniff anything, bro. Blue, sniff it. A little salt, sniff it. Sugar, sniff it. <laughs> like, why, what's the, like, oh, don't get me started on chugging either. Like, chugging, chugging, like, just bottles and stuff, like beer, alcohol, all that, man. Like, just moaning. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm dying. Jimmy keeps trying to blow it out, but he put dry plant matter in a wet nasal cavity. It ain't coming out. So he walks into the bathroom, puts his wallet and phone on the counter, and steps right into the shower. Fully clothed, he's just moaning into the shower head. <laughs> and I don't know who's crying more, Jimmy from pain or me from laughter. Another time I'm hanging out in the dorm with some peeps when Jimmy comes barreling in. He's like, guys, guys, have you ever tried a gravity bong before? We're like, no. He's like, what did I say, man? A beer bong. Beer bong, here we go, the check-in is starting. Well, I'm about to blow your mind. I need a two-liter bottle and a bucket filled with water. I'm like, what do you need a bucket for? He's like, no time, fill up a bucket and find me a two-liter. So I get some water, but the only two-liter we had was an unopened bottle of soda. He's like, you gotta empty this first. I'm like, dude, I'm not just gonna pour out a full two-liter. He's like, fine, and starts chugging it, stopping periodically to burp. What did I say, bro? What did I say, bro? What did I say, bro? He gets through about 90% of it, and I could tell he's in pure agony. So I just pour out the rest. He's like, oh, okay, okay, we're almost there. So he cuts off the bottom of the bottle, burns a hole in the cap, and stuffs it with a bowl. I'm looking at this contraption, having no faith it would work, but as soon as Jimmy lit the bowl, I was mesmerized. Smoke begins to fill the bottle as Jimmy looks at us and says, to the moon. Then he takes off the cap, inhales, and blows smoke all around the room. Now our dorm is covered in a thick fog, and everyone begins to panic. Jimmy's coughing uncontrollably, and I'm like, guys, what are we going to do? Hearing all the commotion, the RA comes and knocks on our door. Jimmy, with limited lung capacity, is like, oh, tits, I can't get caught. I'm still on probation. So he opens a window, and I'm thinking he's trying to aerate out the place. Nope. He just starts punching the screen until there's enough space to fit through and jumps out. He crashes a story below into a bush and starts wailing. Oh! Roommate lets the RA in, who immediately walks to the window to see where all the screaming's coming from. While he was distracted, I sneak out, and as I'm exiting the building, I still remember hearing Jamie's wails in the distance. <laughs> Somehow, Jimmy doesn't get expelled for this, and a week- I need to try this. Yo, no you don't, bruh. Okay, you can witness it when you go to college. You will see, you'll definitely see a person like Jimmy. You'll see 10 Jimmys, you know what I'm saying? Me personally, I didn't associate myself with no Jimmys, bruh. I feel like I was with the cool n man. You know, us black people, we don't really do none of that. Like, all oh, this, man. We don't do this, bro. <laughs> we and our, you know what I'm saying, playing 2K, all that, just chilling, bro. The most we'll do is probably, like, have some liquor, man. But chugging and, and, and smoking and all that, I don't know, man. A week later, I bump into him in the cafeteria. Bonging, bonging, hey. He's got a walking boot on, and before I could even ask about his injuries, he says, Hey, do you still have the two liter? I'm like, the one we cut in half? Yep, I think so. He's like, good, bring it over my place tonight at eight. So I go over Jimmy's place later that evening, thinking he was- I've never seen a black Jimmy in my life, so I don't know what you're talking about. There'd be some black Jimmys. I've never seen one. Just gonna make another gravity bong, but it turns out he had grander plans. First, Jimmy takes the two liter and starts stuffing the opening with cigarettes. I'm talking like 40 cigarettes. Respectfully, this is why people- 
fucking there. Like, I've never seen a black person do this. Then he places it on a table next to a beer can, a bowl, and a little line of Coke. I'm like, Jimmy, uh, this might be a little much, even for you. He's like, don't worry, bro. I'll be fine. I'm like, dude, mixing beer, weed, Coke, and cigarettes seems like a really bad idea. Yeah. Like, don't forget about peyote. I'm like, peyote? He's like, yeah, I put peyote in one of the cigarettes. You mean the shit that makes you see spirit animals? He's like, yeah, I'm looking to get twisted. I'm like, dude, seriously think about what you're doing for a sec. But before he could respond, people start chanting, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Jimmy, with a huge smile on his face, yells, to the moon! Then he snorts the coke, takes a hit from the bowl, shotguns the beer, and starts lighting the cigarettes. He gets maybe two puffs in before dropping it, coughing violently. <laughs> Everyone's cheering, and I'm thinking disaster averted. It's the man that don't care. He don't care about his life, his future. He's just in college to have a good, no, not even a good, just to have a time, bro. Just have experience. <laughs> a f***ed up one at that. But that was until Jimmy started talking in tongues. He's just like, <laughs> At first we thought he was kidding, but it became clear he was actually losing his mind. I walk over to him to see if he was alright, but he just pushes me aside and bolts out the house. With his walking boot still on, he runs into the street yelling nonsense. People at the party are freaking out, yelling, Jimmy! Jimmy, what are you doing? Eventually a car comes and Jimmy jumps up on the hood. The driver panics and floors it in reverse, causing Jimmy to fall back first onto the concrete. That's when I was like, F*** this! And call 911. Paramedics come, and as they're taking Jimmy away, I'll never forget what he said to me. So whatever happened to Jimmy, well, I have good news. He ended up turning his life around and is now a guidance counselor. I'm kidding. I was He's about to say, bro. But some people need a happy ending, you know? He's okay. Oh, thank goodness. You know me, not being able to deal with reality. The funny part was he made a full recovery from this incident and ended up dying from a drunk driver hitting him. Yeah, talk about irony. But I guess when your entire... Oh, he was in line. Hey, see? Hey, chat. This is a story about Jimmy and for you guys never to follow in Jimmy's footsteps. Because when you do this, look where it tracks you, bro. The same type of energy, man. This is the moral of the story. Our life is a car crash. It isn't too surprising. Anyway, the lesson you should take from this video is doing reckless things for attention is a recipe for disaster. So if you're struggling with destructive tendencies, it's important to seek help. But if you're going to do it anyway, then at least have it on film. To the moon, buddy. At least make some money out of it. Am I right?